starting a new series on this channel and I'm so excited. I am calling it Alexia's Kitchen. Welcome. I decided to start this because I love cooking. I love baking. I put it on my Instagram stories all the time. And also I was more encouraged to start this because everyone always asks if I actually use the food services that I promote on my Instagram. And of course I do. I love food. It's super easy. All of the ingredients are delivered straight to your door and you just cook. Today we are starting with the food delivery service called Sunbasket. This is the third meal delivery service that I've tried. The first one I went with was called Bistro, and they were fully vegan, fully plant-based, but they delivered frozen foods. So basically all you did was you heat up a pre-made meal. Very delicious, but I'm not looking for TV dinners. I want to cook. I don't even own a microwave. The second service I went with was HelloFresh, which I believe is the most popular. That's what everyone talks about. It's a brand everyone knows. The only problem I have with them is they don't have vegan options. They had vegetarian, which for someone like me who's lactose intolerant, there's a lot of cheese and dairy and milk and sour cream in all of their vegetarian options. So if you're vegan or lactose intolerant, HelloFresh probably isn't the best for you. Finally, I discovered Sunbasket and they have meals catering to just if you eat normal, paleo, vegan, gluten-free. They have so many different options, and not only that, they have tons of meals to choose from. And I actually genuinely think they are the best. So today, you're going to make one of the meals with me, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy and delicious their meals are. Each meal will be delivered to your door. I had three bags just like this with different meals in them. You put them straight into the refrigerator because they can go bad. They come with this super cute recipe book, and it has all the recipes inside, all the ingredients that you need. Today we're gonna to be making rainbow rice noodle salad, and I know salad, ew, sounds gross, but it has noodles and tempeh in it, which is kind of like a vegan version of like a meat substance. So I feel like it's gonna actually taste pretty good. If you guys can see it. It says that it takes 25 minutes to make, which is perfect because I'm on a little time crunch. I am working on something for my next video for you guys. Also, just in case anyone is wondering, this dress is from Beach Lunch Lounge, and it's super cute, little wrap dress. It's kind of just blending in with my dress today, but that's okay. So it's really hard for me to tie it for myself. There we go. I always like to just tie the front of my hair back because when I'm cooking, I can't have my hair like falling in my face. So that's what this is for. So everything just comes out of the bag. You put all of your ingredients for the meal in here. I always like to just go ahead and put all of the trash right into the bag it comes in because then you can just throw the bag away and it doesn't have to be in your kitchen. Please forgive me. I didn't put my dishes away yet, but they are clean. Anyways, first step says to bring a medium soft pot to a boil. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. I just went ahead and put all the dishes away because I actually can't stand starting cooking a meal when there's already dishes there. I'd rather them all be put away and then I always wash my dishes as I cook. That way you don't have dishes to do at the end. Now it says to take the tempeh and cut it into half inch pieces. So this is what tempeh looks like. I you know it's kind of different, but I promise when you cook it, it's actually super good. I have the noodles boiling right now, and it says to add one cup of water to the tempeh and also bring that to a boil. So now basically I leave both of those for 10 minutes, uh, stir and flip while they're boiling. Now we're going to get to the fruits and veggies. It says to peel a cucumber, but honestly I never do that, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice it. I went ahead and cut them into smaller pieces. And then these are still cooking over here. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't really know how to cut a mango. I always just kind of go through the middle like this. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of cut anything off that'll come off basically. And I know this is not the correct way to do this. So please, you don't need to leave comments I know but if you have a link maybe for a video that shows me how to properly do this please send it next step is to chop up the cilantro which again probably not doing this right but just going with it now that all of the water is gone from the tempeh we are going to go ahead and cook it 
on medium heat and add two or three tablespoons of oil. I think two is gonna be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and cook those until they're a nice golden brown, kind of like what you would do with your chicken normally. You're supposed to do this in a large bowl, but I'm very behind on things and I don't have a large bowl, so this is the best thing I could find. We're gonna just go ahead and mix everything. This is very colorful and I love this for summer. Now we are going to drain the noodles and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the dressing on top. Now while the tempeh is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice noodles in here and also mix it up. Last thing I'm gonna do is to go ahead and add the tempeh and I cook it to a really nice, yummy, golden brown. I am officially done. That was super fun and easy to make, and it looks delicious. Make sure I show you guys without spilling it all. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you think this looks good. Would you eat it? Have you tried it already? Let me know. And make sure you subscribe for more. Have a blessed day. This is actually much better than I thought it was going to be. I'm watching Mr. Kate's. Please excuse me. But I thought I was going to want to like add flavor to this. And I thought I wasn't going to like the cucumber because I don't really just like cucumber. But all together, it's very delicious. And the dressing has more than enough flavor. Even though it doesn't look like it has a lot of flavor. It's just so good. I feel like this totally looks like something I would buy at a restaurant.